Could you run 193 miles in a week? I won't even run for an election. <laughs> what if it was for a cause that's very close to your heart? Would that make a difference? Well, that is exactly what our next guest is doing. You're going to be so inspired by her. She was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis two years ago, and she really wanted to make a difference for anyone battling the disease. Jen is here now to tell us her story. Jen Humphrey, nice to see you. It's a Hi, pleasure. Good We're so nice I, to see I'm you. I'm like, I'm like, I don't even want to. I'm like, I'm in the same room with you, which is so oh, inspiring. Oh, thank you. I, I'm really excited to go on this run. I'm going to Nebraska in a couple of weeks. Okay. So you're part of a relay. Yes. Okay. Tell us a little bit about that and this woman who started this whole. She tried to run. She ran it herself and she didn't raise the money. Yes. So her name is Ashley Schneider. She started the nonprofit organi organization MS Run the U.S. a couple of years ago um, in honor of her mother who had MS and um, passed away from MS. Okay. And so she did, you're right, she tried to run across the country on her own to raise funds for MS and um, wasn't able to raise the money, did all the running, but um, wasn't able to raise the funds that she wanted to. And she had a pretty lofty, I mean $500,000. Yes. It was a pretty lofty a goal. A really lofty goal. And so um, along the way she met a lot of great people and decided that she wanted to um, involve others in the run. And so now this run starts in Santa Monica. It's 19 segments and ends in New York City. And you are doing, doing what stretch? Lincoln? And I am, I'm gonna be segment 11, which starts in Lincoln, Nebraska, and goes to Des Moines, uh, Iowa. Have you ever been to either no. one of those? <laughs> This is incredible. So no. Lincoln, Nebraska to yeah. Des Moines, Iowa, yeah. to yourself and others. And MS doesn't have to define you. And no. you know, you're a nurse. You're a mom of two boys. Yeah. I mean, take us back. You, when you got that diagnosis, yeah. that was the last thing you wanted to hear. Yeah. It was really pretty... showing everyone that it doesn't have to be an ending. Yeah. It was pretty scary. I mean, it happened like a couple months post COVID, right? Mm -hmm. So when I had to go to doctor's appointments, it was Zoom calls, yeah. you know, trying to assess what was going on. So at first we weren't sure. And, you know, it's a diagnosis of exclusion, so lots of blood tests, lots of, you know, I had to have a spinal tap. I had to go in, um, you know, and, and do some other MRI testing and things like that to really nail down if it was MS. And so... But I just think it's interesting, your neurologist also has MS. Yes, he unfortunately passed away oh, so sorry last month, that. Dr. Oh. Peter Wade. He was a wonderful man. He had MS, and he um, oh, and so he's done so much for um, folks with MS. God he was bless him. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, doctor who had a lot of bedside manner and just was really great. Right. And, yeah. and it's somebody you can truly relate to. Absolutely. And he, you know, he was like, I'll be your support group, you know, when he was, uh, right, 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 when right, I right. was diagnosed. You need a really caring doctor. Um, yeah. So your goal is to raise $10,000 by June 2022, which I'm so amazed is that you never really consider yourself a runner. You're doing 193 no. miles in seven days. How could you not be a runner? <laughs> yeah, so I've run before in the past, you know, um, a half marathon at the for the Hartford Marathon mm -hmm. for Donate Life, but that's the farthest I've ever run. But it was just, you know, a really lofty goal. I knew I could raise the money because I've been involved in, you know, fundraising for school the school and stuff for my boys in the past but the running has been a challenge but I you know I don't know that every mile will be a running mile but I will certainly walk or crawl my way through Lincoln and from Nebraska to Des Moines. So you had to it was an application process it was, you had to submit. was it a difficult process? So or? an application process an interview and then you know the team was chosen and I found out in the fall that I was going to be a exciting. part of this team. So several of my team members have MS as well others are um, have you know members of their family who are impacted by MS so but I thought it was you know just a great organization that raises awareness um, now is each person responsible for raising their $10,000 of the correct of the, okay so yep. how are you how you doing so I'm just over 10,000 oh, yeah yeah we had a fundraiser a few um, weeks ago uh, my family did and it was really you know it was outstanding and so I raised other funds that haven't you know shown yet because I put them through I work for uh, Pro Health which is a part of Optum Care right. and they match our donations so oh, once they match I'll, I'll be up to like 18,000 oh my god that is so, so yeah wonderful. super excited 
excited. Is, is um, your family going with you, or they watch you on Zoom? Like, oh, so I have a, a spot like a, a a child who will be a senior in the fall, right. and so he's going. Like him and my husband already plan to go look at a school, um, and but they'll be following me. I'll be doing some like you know, I'll I'll be taping some things and sending messages and sending home. And them, like, bought a journal so I can journal while I'm out there just to I think you know remember incredible. this experience. Yeah. Yeah, good for you. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, yeah. we wish you can. And your health is good right now. Um, yes. Yeah. So I haven't had a relapse. I get monthly infusions um, for MS, and I've been really lucky to, um, you know, to feel well and be able to do this. Well, we will be thinking of you as um, you're running thank all you of your so miles. Much. God bless you. Thank you, you so it's much. It's a pleasure to have it. you. Thank There's you for being here and sharing Thanks, your story. And, and Jen, again, is running segment 11 of MS Run the U.S., and that's coming up in two weeks. To donate, go to MS Run. Uh, the us.org and then click on Jen's segment. Perfect. Thank you again, Jen. Thanks. It was a pleasure to see you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Have a great